Many of you had been requesting for a detailed video on adjusted R squared. So I thought let me go ahead and put everything about adjusted R squared in one video. In this video, I am going to tell you what and why of adjusted R squared. I am also going to tell you what is the inner mathematics behind adjusted R squared. And in the end, I am going to show you a demo in Python using some data how R square and adjusted R square change when we change the input training data. All these in this video, everything about adjusted R square. Stay tuned, watch the video till end. Welcome to Unfold Data Science. My name is Aman and I am a data scientist. If you have not subscribed to the channel yet, please press the subscribe button and also the bell icon so that you receive all the notification fast. Let's go to my screen and understand everything about adjusted R squared. So guys, suppose there are two data sets in front of you, okay? So this is your data set 1 and this is your data set 2. Both of these are employer data, okay? So for a company, this is years of experience of their employees and this is the salary of their employees. In the second data set, you have one additional column called height also, employee height, okay? Now suppose you being a data scientist, I tell you, hey, can you train a machine learning model that can predict salary, okay, based on the independent features. So in first data set, how many independent features you are having guys? Only one independent feature. In second data set, how many independent features you are having guys? Two independent features, okay. But from your common sense, do you think that this additional independent feature called height of the employee is very important for predicting the salary of the employee. Here in this case, I have put all the height as same, but even if heights are not same, right? Do you think height will play a very important role in determining the employee salary? Obviously no. But how does system tell us that you are adding an unnecessary variable in the model training? The answer to that is adjusted R squared, okay? Now, to know adjusted R square, first of all, a little brief about R square, okay? So guys, I have created a detailed video on R square. You can see a link here. It is a must watch video if you have not watched till now. But just to give a high level view here, R square tells you how accurately you have trained your model. For example, you train a linear regression model here and I tell you years of experience is 10 for an employee. Can you tell me what will be the salary of the employee? And if you are able to tell me with an accuracy of let's say 90%, you say that your model is 90% accurate and your R square is 90%. Now, if we already have a number to determine the model's accuracy, then why do we need additional number, adjusted R square? So adjusted R square is a modified version of your R square. So what is adjusted R square? First of all, you have to understand it is nothing but a modified version. So if you modify R square, right, you get adjusted R square. Now, why do we want to modify that? Okay, that will be very clear if I write the formula for adjusted R square here. I will write it slowly guys, just try to understand what I am writing. Okay, so I am writing here 1 minus and then I am giving a big bracket here. Just try to understand carefully what goes inside this bracket, okay? I am writing again 1 minus r square. What is r square? r square is our original r square, okay? And this whole thing 1 minus r square gets multiplied with n minus 1. What is n here? n is number of observation in your data set or in your training data. So this whole thing from here to here is numerator. And in the denominator, I am going to write here n, which is again number of observation, minus k, k is number of features in the data, minus 1. Features means nothing but how many independent variables you are having. This becomes your denominator, okay? And then I close this big bracket. Now, if you see this formula carefully, guys, first of all, adjusted R square derived from R square, okay? That is clear. 
second of all we are using something known as k here k is nothing but how many independent features you are having in your data so what this formula from here to here total formula it means is if you keep the r square value same okay but if you add more variables in your predictor suppose we become uh, k initially is 3 okay number of predictors and then k becomes 10 in the next run of the model r square in the three run when the k is 3 then r square is let's say 90% okay and when the k is 10 then also let's say r square is 90% so just to make you understand what is happening here is if you increase more predictors in your model and your model does not improve much in terms of r square then your adjusted r square value will come down okay so with one predictor if you are able to achieve 90% and with two predictors also you are able to achieve 90% then your first case adjusted r square will be higher than second case adjusted r square let me explain you with a python example simple data it will be very easy for you to understand okay so let's see my jupyter notebook here guys and if you see here right then i have a sample data here let me run this again so what is this data same data years of experience is my independent feature salary is my target feature okay i come here and i set a, i uh, train a basic linear regression model so model dot score will give you the r squared value of this trained model so what is the r squared value in scenario 1 first scenario guys 90.88 now from this r square i will compute adjusted r square using the same formula which i wrote there okay so what is the formula 1 minus in the bigger bracket 1 minus r square multiplied by n minus 1 divided by n minus k minus 1 if i plug in the values right 1 minus this is nothing but your r square this is your length of original data means n value and this is your length of original data means n value and x dot shape 1 means nothing but k value okay so what is your adjusted r square here 89% now little tweak in the data i am doing in scenario 2 i am adding one more variable here okay as i was explaining there one more variable height variable and now i am retraining the model with height variable as well new model has height as well so new models r square is 90% however the adjusted r square is 88.28 so if you see here guys scenario 1 r square and adjusted r square this much and scenario 2 r square and adjusted r square this much now the important thing to understand here is when we added a new variable height the r square did not change because that was a useless variable but the adjusted r square reduced if you see here previously it was 89% now it became 88% so what is adjusted r square telling you it is telling you that do not add this unnecessary variable okay and that is the sole purpose of adjusted r square it tells you if there is not a marginal shift in r square so if there is even a small shift in r square then also adjusted r square may decrease adjusted r square tells you add variable only when it helps you beyond a level add variables only when it is useful for you if there is no shift in r square or if there is marginal shift in r square no need of adding a new variable so adjusted r square will decrease and tell you that the new variable that you have added in terms of height here that is not useful for me and then you know that new variable is not useful okay so same thing guys if i come back to my my note here i was trying to tell you that if you add a height variable which is not very useful so if you keep three variables in your data r square is 90% and if you keep 10 variables in your data and also r square is 90% then in second case your adjusted r square will be low which tells you that don't keep additional variables in that model it is not useful so that is the whole purpose of adjusted r square so i will reiterate what all we discussed guys 
R adjusted R square is derived from R square, and the purpose of adjusted R square is to tell you that do not add unnecessary variables in the model training. Do not make the model training complex unnecessarily. What adjusted R square does? It penalizes you for every new variable that you add with the help of this k in the formula. With the help of this particular k. That is how you have to make the concept understand in any interview if somebody asks you. So adjusted R square penalizes you for every addition of a new independent feature. So I hope this concept is clear, guys. With that Python demo, it became more clear. Still, if you have any questions, write me in comment. I will respond to you. I will see you guys in the next video with another interesting topic. Till then, wherever you are, stay safe and take care.